Hello everybody, welcome to the I Am IT Geek YouTube channel. My name is Shabazz Dan, as ever, I am the IT Geek. Uh, we are back with another video within my sort of new Nerdio series that I'm doing. Um, it's like once a week and we're doing some content around Nerdio. And um, I said it all along actually, you know, and I said in my last video, um, in my other like, last few roles, I've not had the exposure to Nerdio, so I wasn't doing a lot of content around it. I kind of do content on, on stuff I've got exposure to and technologies that I'm working on because they're relevant at the time. So now I've joined Cubasis. I'm obviously in Australia now. They live and breathe Nerdio, right? They're one of the top three Nerdio partners in the world, which got kind of that one. They got, you know, as part of the Nerdio Con 2025. So they're a massive Nerdio partner. And that they only do when it comes to AVD deployments. They don't do anything without Nerdio. Uh, so I'm having a lot more exposure to it. So now that I'm working on it, I feel like I am able to kind of create content as I start finding things that I really like about it. So in the last kind of episode that I did last week, I kind of, I kind of started explaining um, what I wanted to do when Nerdio have an amazing knowledge base um, with all sorts of document, you know, guides and all sort of user interface stuff, directory identity management, desktop images, storage logs, blah, blah, blah user cost attribution so in my lab essentially i'm going to go through all these different documentation just walk through it and just show you you know you don't always have time to go through this sort of stuff so i thought you know what why not um, just go through some of the documentation and share it within my demo so that's essentially what i'm going to do so we're going to start off with the sort of user interface stuff so I, what the, all these videos around here are going to be very demo lab based so i'm going to jump into my tenant now we're going to start looking at some of the user interface so I'm here in my Nerdio demo tenant and this is a community version um, and again if you have your own demo tenant you can get um, community version so I'd, I'd recommend reaching out to whoever your sort of Nerdio contact is maybe your, your, your sort of um, program manager or your sort of sales representative within Nerdio who you kind of um, or your account manager um, and ask about getting a community version obviously it's got to go into a non-prod uh, version, the you know, non-prod environment. So this is in my IMIT Geek environment which I have here. Um, so essentially I want to try and go through just the user interface and um, just kind of show you some of an overview of kind of sort of the, the different um, management features of Nerdio. So the top, let's start at the top right here. Obviously you've got, you can sign out and sign in from here. Here, this is where you can access, uh, you know, the knowledge base. So I kind of showed the knowledge base and these are all the Nerdio for Manager Enterprise, the forums here. So just by clicking on that little uh, you know uh, uh, question mark, that'll open up the web page and take to the knowledge base, troubleshoot, FAQs, any uh, guides here, feature requests as well, videos and, and sort of webinars as well. And as we go along here, you've got the patent. So again, that'll take you to Nerdio's website. Um, you know, again, just have a look at through their website. So that's just like a link to their website there. Um, and as we go along here, this is where you have your notifications. So I've got no notifications at the moment, but that's kind of where you'd see any notifications. This is to apply the theme. So I've, I've got dark mode at the moment. Um, oh, sorry, that, was, that wasn't that was dark mode, was it? No, that was um, yeah, that was light mode. So I'm in the new UI as well, so I'll go to that in a second. I prefer dark mode. Light mode hurts my eyes. <laughs> um, so this is where you can change sort of mode. And this is essentially where you can just do a bit of a search. Um, so you could just do host pools. Click enter, and it'll basically take you to the settings profile management, it'll take you any to, to any load any settings around what you've searched for, right? Um, so that's kind of that top bar here. Again, you can click between the old UI and the new UI. I really don't, I, once you've used a new one, it's like, why would I go back? It's really good, it's, uh, I like the new UI, if I'm honest. And that's just put me back to light mode, I wanna go to dark mode. Um, and here's the page you wanna set as your default page. So again, if you want it to be in insights and look at your health, you could set that as like your home page. Um, and that'll go, do you want to set that as your current home page? You click on OK. So that's quite a good page to have as your home page because then as soon as, you, as soon as you click on it, it takes you to like a health of your, it tells you, you know, what's your compute quotas on health there, um, your monitoring agent insight. So that's quite quite a cool little feature there. So you can set what your home page is from there. Um, um, and that'll always, when you click home, it'll always take you to that as well. Um, so here we can see the different, sort of uh, menu items on the left hand side so you've obviously got the insights which is my home page you've got custom view which you can you know look at all your own host or user sessions you can customize a view depending on what you want to see and here you've got your workspace so i'm going to go into this in a second because i'll show you kind of the actions menu etc here on the left as well you can see endpoints this is all devices or your windows 365 your policy management your reports that's specific to endpoints uh, applications here so unified um application management would be through here or your app group, shell apps, your integrations, your app attached, your app attached certificates as well, deployment status, etc. 
Here's you've got your scripted actions, your windows, your Azure run books, your scripted action groups there. Um, the monitoring is where you've got your Azure. Uh, that's a bit, it still says WVD. I expect that's the AVD by now, but um, that just takes you to, so it takes you to within your portal um, and takes you to essentially your, your AVD insights. Um, and then as we go down, we've got your storage, just where you can manage all your storage, you know, log analytics, etc. So you've got your robust access control within Nerdio. So this is Nerdio specific. Robust, robust access control. Um, where you, you can manage your notifications, you've got your logs, your advisor settings here. So this is where your cost model will be. We're going to do some stuff on cost modeler later on in this series or another video. You've got your recommendations, your rules, etc. Here we've got settings. So you've got your environment settings, your profile management, your resource rules, your custom views, and your themes there. Um, and then you've got your updates. This is where you would update. The, the software. Um, so I recently updated to 7.1.0, I think. To, oh, 7.1.2 is my deployed version. Um, and then depending on, so this is obviously the community version, tells you what version you're on there um, and all the integrations that I've got. So I want to just go back up to workspace because when within the, you know, within the user interface, um, you know, they have what they call an actions menu. So this is where, so say I click on my, my so this essentially it's these three dots, so that's always like your action menu. So here I go to my dynamic host pools, my static host pools, my properties, I can run assign it, I can delete it if I want. Click on my workspace, I actually go into where my host pool is, it's turned off at the moment, I'll try to save some money because I feel like it's quite a big, uh, it's quite a big VM. Um, and that's where I do all my video editing. Anyway, so back to, back for Nerdio. So this is the actions menu essentially, though these three dots are your action menus, this is where you can manage your auto scale on your host pools, host, applications, properties, look at cloning host. So just remember that the, the dots are always your, your sort of action action uh, menu. And here as well, you can filter, you've got a filter options, so you could filter different things, you could add a filter group resource. So that's where you can kind of manage your filter and see more. If you've got a lot, obviously I've not got a lot of, you know, a lot of things in here. You've also got a sub menu where you can see all your different type of hosts up here as well. So I this kind of a sub menu. So you get your different blades for static hosts, hybrid host pools, user sessions, and tasks. And as you go on all these sort of things here, you'll have different, you'll have different, you can create a host pool there. Um, so if we go like to endpoints, for example, go to all devices, you'll have a similar theme. So you've got your filters up here. Um, and then you've got your different little action menu. So these are details you can sync, you can change your primary user. That on the right hand side, and then you'll always find sort of your action menus, right? I've uh, got some policy management here. You've got some sub, these widget buttons are really cool because again, look, you've got some actions you can do there. Um, search at the top as well. Again, you've got your sub menus at the top here. So different, different blades. So this is, a, so this is, we're in policy management here. So you've got all your different policies in here, which is really cool. So compliance policies, configuration policies, security baseline policies, conditional access policies, entry policies, windows update policies. So you've got all your policies under one roof there, right? Um, so when you come to desktop images, obviously the, the, the menus are different depending on what you're trying to manage. But here's kind of, again, you've got your two buttons at the top. You can add from the Azure library, you can add from an Azure VM. Let's so go to applications, you've got the unified catalog. Again, you've got some deployments you can do, sort of actions menu on the right hand side. You've got your filters, you can search, and you can show your favorites only. You can import applications, things like that. Um, so the, the, the menus have sort of a, they, they all have a, similarity to them right they're all kind of unified in the fact that you've got most of your action menus on the right hand side you've got your filters at the top and then in some cases where it requires it you've got your sort of um, tabs or your blades at the top as well um, and so that's the same for whatever you go for you know, you've got to storage for example um, maybe go to something that has a couple of different blades again uh, you've got your search at the top your, your information the, the actions on the right hand side um, so again, very, very sort of similar features to all sort of menus. It's a very, it's a very you know, unified menu um, and user interface, really easy to use. And it's, it goes back to Nerdio's, it's three click, it's, you know, or minimal clicks. You know, you can get to anywhere you want in a few clicks, which is really cool. Uh, it saves a lot of time from a management perspective as well. Um, so look, it's a user interface, right? I don't want to spend too much time going through the user interface when there's obviously a lot more, uh, a lot more stuff to kind of look at. Um, you know, I just want to spend a bit of time looking at the user interface because it's part of this menu. So if we just go back to the knowledge base, I can just show you kind of what I'm going to be looking at in the next few episodes. Okay, so user interface we've done. I've kind of covered a lot of a lot of these already. I don't want to kind of dwell on user interface too much. We've got some cool other things here. So 
tell you what we'll do next in the next video kind of which is next week i'll look at directory and identity management and we'll just go through the different identity types and definition terms and configuring onto domain services with avd etc um so that'll be the next video and again as we go through we'll close this then we'll go to desktop images we'll close that we'll go fs logics so i want to just kind of work through this different user interface uh, this different sort of menu of uh the knowledge base once i'm done with sort of the knowledge base stuff and i've kind of walked through that we'll actually start doing some more deeper dive nerdio content and obviously i'd love to see i'll hear from you guys what what do you guys want to see from a nerdio perspective you want to look at how to do scripted actions you want to look at how to you want a deeper dive into look how to manage images or how to create a custom image or is any sort of other integration into a bit of a deeper dive into into integration anything you want to look at let me know i'm going to have uh probably try and get some guests on my nerdio videos as well either from nerdio or people in the community who do nerdio content as well or who are, who are kind of um kind of work with nerdio as well i've got a couple of my colleagues at cubis that i'll bring in as well uh, so thank you for watching until next time goodbye